Hello, welcome. Today is the 15th of February 2024. It is Ash Wednesday, celebrated in the Catholic Church. What does that mean for all of the, those of you who are seeing this from uh, countries far and wide from where I am here in England? Ash Wednesday is when we are reminded that we are mortal and ashes are put on our heads and we are told remember that you are dust and to dust you shall return and this is from the Bible in the sweat of thy face shall thou eat bread till thou return to the earth out of which thou was taken for dust thou art and into dust thou shalt return that is from Genesis 3.19 so uh, let me try to explain a little bit what um, the whole ceremony is or what it means the Ash Wednesday in Western Christianity, the, the first day of Lent, which occurs six and a half weeks before Easter, that is the resurrection, and that is between the February the 14th and March the 11th, depending on the date of Easter. It is immediately preceded by Shrove Tuesday. As Wednesday is a solemn reminder of human mortality and the need for reconciliation with God and marks the beginning of the penitential Lenten or Lent season. It is commonly observed with the distribution of ashes and with fasting. The Eastern Orthodox churches begin Lent on Clean Monday and therefore do not observe Ash Wednesday. In the early Christian church, the length of the Lenten celebration varied, but eventually it began six weeks, that was uh, 42 days, before Easter. And this provided only 36 days of fasting, excluding Sundays. In the 7th century, four days were added before the first Sunday in Lent in order to establish 40 fasting days in imitation of Jesus Christ's fast in the desert. It was the practice in Rome for penitents and grievous sinners to begin their period of public penance on the first day of Lent in preparation for their restoration to the sacrament of the Eucharist. And they were sprinkled with ashes, dressed in sackcloth, and obliged to remain apart until they were reconciled with the Christian community on Monday Thursday, the Thursday before Easter. When these practices, practices fell into disuse, around uh, between the 8th and the 10th century, the beginning of the penitential season of Lent was symbolized by placing ashes on the heads of the entire congregation. Today, in the Roman Catholic Church, Roman Catholic and Apostolic Church, the ashes are applied in the shape of a cross on the forehead of each worshipper on Ash Wednesday. These ashes are obtained by burning the palms used in the previous year's Palm Sunday service. Receiving ashes is not one is not one of the seven sacraments of the Roman Catholic Church. Therefore anyone who wishes to receive ashes may do so regardless of age or personal standing in the church, the ashes serve as a memento mori, a, rem a reminder of death, and are accompany, often accompanied with some variation of the words, remember that you are dust 
and to dust you shall return. Together with Good Friday, which marks the crucifixion of Jesus on the Friday before Easter Sunday, Ash Wednesday is an obligatory day of fasting and abstinence, where only one full meal and no meat are to be consumed. Although Ash Wednesday is not a holy day of obligation, Mass on this day is traditionally one of the most heavily attended non-Sunday Masses of the liturgical year. Uh, worship services are also held on Ash Wednesday in some Anglican, Lutheran and some other Protestant churches. Now, what I am what I am going to do here is to, if I can come back to the camera, uh, what I'm going to do here is to put a link to the uh, mass that I myself attended today at the Oxford Oratory. Uh, I was there. You're going to see it. You're not going to see me. You're going to see the, the mass. Okay. Um, it begins with... Um, it's, it's slow, right? And uh, it's, uh, it's done for the most part in Latin, except for the readings. And the readings, uh, the first one from the, prophet, pro from the prophet Job, you will find it around the 10 minute mark, something like that. So I'm going to put the link below and uh, just for you to see what if you have never attended one of these masses just to see what it what it's like i know that um you see me from all over the world and um uh, just just one note and that is that the choir uh, a lot of people ask if uh, they use uh, recordings. No, um, it's the actual choir of, of the church there. Um, it is the young people that you will see, the great majority of them, not the priests, but the great majority of them are young people from the University of Oxford, university students. Okay, so I will put the link below and uh, that is the... Uh, the mass that I attended today. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.